Hello students, today we are going to discuss about structure of carbonyl compounds. Aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, all these things which is the main functional group means carbonyl group. So, what is the hybridization of carbonyl compounds means sp2 hybridization. sp2 hybridization means 1 pi bond and 3 sigma bonds. So, what is the structure? It is trigonal planar structure. For that only we are going to discuss. Now, carbon atomic number what it is? 6 carbon 12. What is the electronic configuration? 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So, here outermost orbital, how many electrons are remaining? 4 electrons are remaining. Now, how do we get that 4 electrons? I will tell you. Okay. Now, this is the ground state. Now, when it goes to excited state, how it changes? 1s2, 2s1, 2p, x1, y1 and z1. So, z1 how it comes? It goes and fills when it goes to excited state. So, this is the way we can identify. So, how many unpaired electrons are there in the outermost orbital? 4 unpaired electrons. That is what we are saying. It is a tetravalency. Now, in this point, here 1 s yes orbital and 2 p orbital combine to form 2 p orbital. That means 2s, this is 2s and this is 2p. Okay, this is 1s, 2s, 1, 2s orbital, 2, 2p orbital combine to form 3 sp2 hybridized orbital. Okay. Now, carbon attached with oxygen, first thing it will be sigma bond. The same way alkyl or aryl group also or alkyl with hydrogen atom, whatever it may be. So, everywhere it forms sigma bond, first one. So, what is the angle? It is 120 degree. It is what it is? 120 degree. Everywhere it is 120 degree. Okay. Now, this unhybridized p orbital, where it is unhybridized p orbital, here one unhybridized okay, see, I'll tell you, one 2s orbital and two 2p orbitals combine to form three sp2 orbital that is sigma bonds. Isn't it? So, how many sigma bonds will be there? Three sigma bonds are there. Now, unhybridized p orbital, what will happen here? I will do it in a different way. Now, here unhybridized p orbital perpendicular to the straight of the plane. That means all these three compounds are in the same plane. This unhybridized p orbital of carbon overlaps with the p orbital of oxygen atoms with the pi bonds. Now I think you got it. Okay. Now this is the way planar structure will be there. You know how it is. Like this it forms. Everything it will be there in the same plane. It will be there in the same plane. Carbon with oxygen. First thing it is a sigma bond. It is a sigma bond. 
After that, this unhybridized p orbital of oxygen atom perpendicularly it overlaps with the oxygen atom of p orbital. With the sideways it overlaps, so that means it forms a pi bond cloud like this. Like this, it forms a cloud. of pi bonds okay now you know what is the angle it is 120 degree already i mentioned here okay now what is the structure of this means it's a trigonal planar structure okay now another part we are going to see the resonance of carbon resonance of carbon means this is carbonyl carb com carbonyl compound only here i mentioned carbon see carbon attached with oxygen by a double bond along with these bonds okay now what happens oxygen is having more electronegative when we compare to carbon so what happens the electrons pulls towards the oxygen so automatically it gets negative charge so electron goes that side means naturally it will be negative charge so when it goes to that side automatically it gets what it is positive charge so delta positive this is delta negative so what happens here it forms more electronegative and this is more electro positive so this is electron deficient so carbon becomes electron deficient electron deficient means what it is lewis acid electron deficient one more word it is um, what it is electrophilic what it is called electrophilic electrophilic means it wants electrons that means electron deficient so it acts as a lewis acid now this is a carbon axis now oxygen acts as a nucleophilic nucleophilic okay nucleophilic means what it is electron rich electron rich means what it is it's having more electrons it's ready to give it to other that means electron it is a lewis base it acts as a lewis base so uh, 